Hey, this is Mike. Check out this 2014 Jeep Wrangler. Um, this is the Willys Wheeler Edition. And uh, this one's kind of a little bit different because it has the, the hard top and pretty cool vehicle. Pretty much it's all blacked out. Jeep emblem here is blacked out, the grill's blacked out, the wheels are blacked out. Has a really sharp look to it. And the Willys Wheeler has the off-road mud terrain tires. And check out the wheels. Nice shiny black. Mat match the rest of the Jeep. It does have the, the three-piece hard top. Let's check it out on this side. This is a pretty well equipped, but not too well, you know, a lot of like over equipped. It has the nice slush mats. You can see you can get to the, the back seats to the passenger side. There's a little bit of a squeeze, but you can get back there. And that back seat does fold down. You got speakers there on the rails. Or the, should I say the roll cage? Thing about Wranglers, they have a really good seal around the doors for uh, for deep water, so you kind of have to slam the doors good to shut them. Here's you a good view of the tires and wheels. There's the spare. And you see a really good tread depth on these. It's really made for some off-road use. But this is convenient with the hard top because you can access the back pretty easy. It just flips up like that. You've got plenty of room. Now the back seat does fold down like so using this handle. And back here we've got a reversible mat. One on carpet on one side, rubber on the other. Under here we have a little storage compartment. It keeps everything out of, out of view. And out of the way and underneath that is your tools for changing your spare tire and this one does have uh, tinted glass on the back and sides there's the window sticker there's a little reflection there, so hopefully you can read it. This is where the pause button comes in handy. Alright, we've got standard side, standard side mirrors, no heated. This trail rated badge right here. It does say Willys on the hood. Wrangler even blacked out you can read it but it's kind of not very prominent like it normally is so here's the inside of the front door pretty basic no power windows we've got manual windows and a little net pocket there manual cloth seats It's a hot day, so I'm going to turn the air conditioner down a little bit, but I want to keep it on because I'm so I don't sweat to death. Hopefully, it won't interfere with the camera too much. But anyway, here's the inside steering wheel. Even though this is a rugged Wrangler, the steering wheel is, is leather wrapped, stitched, very comfortable, as this you know, just as comfortable as a Jeep Grand Cherokee. You have your cruise control on that side. And on the back of the steering wheel, we have a volume button. I'm going to turn the radio on. So I can adjust the volume on the back of the steering wheel here. I can change to the stations on this side. Right now we're on the satellite radio. It does have a one-year prepaid subscription for you. So I'm going to put the volume back down on that. Now here's the gauges. 
and this one does have Bluetooth so you have you can answer your phone once it's paired you do have voice recognition where you can uh, say a few you know, certain commands like call so, so and so on your phone book or tune to a certain station right here these buttons correspond to this menu here where see where it says speed right now it's set to speed but um, I can kind of scroll through and find different information tire pressure things like that I can also go to a compass and a digital temperature there and up here we've got a little quick access storage pocket here's the radio like I said it does have Bluetooth also it has satellite radio AM FM CD player the CD player also plays mp3 discs as well you do have auxiliary input right here so you can hook up your iPod or a cell phone you can also play music through the Bluetooth system with a Bluetooth device right here is a little storage park compartment these are really easy to use these vents this is your climate control settings real basic fan speed temperature and where you want the air to blow you got a power supply here you can turn trash traction control traction control off and uh, uh, downhill descent this is for this is definitely not for dry pavement you want to use that only when you're on loose surfaces going downhill at a slow speed kind of helps you out net pocket there your four-wheel drive shifter is there little pocket back there place to put a pin or something there's your automatic shifter emergency brake little pockets down there there's your cup holder it's got the little Jeep symbol in there which is cool center console armrests it is lockable um, it does have a two-stage system here you have two buttons one is a shallow pocket there for like a cell phone or maybe even a small tablet and under that is a deeper pocket with a power supply and there's a little grooves here for the wires to go in or out of that pocket you do have a USB port right there too so pretty cool glove compartments here now the glove compartment and the center console do have or do have the ability to lock and also the trunk when you lock the tailgate that little compartment I showed you keeps things secure there so even if you have the top off the doors off you can still have some level of securing your belongings there so up here we've got the the latches for this they got this piece is separate from that piece they're kind of like t-tops in a way and then you have the big uh, hard top in the back that comes off at one uh, at one piece we got a mirror here in the visor. I believe it's the same thing on the other side. Let's look underneath the hood. See what's under there. V6, 3.6 liter, six cylinder, very reliable engine. They use them in just about everything now. Got a nice big battery. Everything's color coded. The stuff in yellow is stuff that you would check on a, yourself on a normal basis, like your oil and brake fluid and coolant, windshield washer fluid, stuff like that. But anyway, if you're interested in this Jeep, um, as far as like, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. You can leave questions or comments in the comment section. You can also send me an email. My email address will be in the description. See you next time.